uniforms in blue and the Eastern Conference wearing white trimmed in red. It'll be Moses Malone and Abdul Jabbar. Sit back, ladies and gentlemen, and enjoy this All Star game. It's Magic Johnson, 32, with control now for the West. Marcus Johnson goes to Kareem. Great pass inside the match. You know, in the last couple of years, Kareem has really improved as a passer. He's one of the best passing big guys to, to, now that's uh, ever played. Uh, I guess the only guy that passes at center now as well as he does is when he's playing is Bill Walton. Eddie Johnson just tied it up, Bill, with that little field goal. He's from the Atlanta Hawks. They really got it. There it is again. That's two in a row, as he shows exactly what Bill Russell was describing, that beautiful inside pass that Walton has always liked. And uh, after they warm up, a couple of guys are going to try to play a little defense, too. <laughs> <laughs> Surely a solid spin. <laughs> Tap back in, Mike Irvin. I guess if we compare this with music, you're in for a great jam session, great individual talents. Not a symphony today. They're not going to play as a unit. But what great individual skills you'll see. Here's Adrian Dantley out of DeMatha High School in Washington. Magic was posted inside, battling for control, and he's got it. Dishes to Lloyd Free, and Prince of Midair misses. Take it down by Kareem, the West controlling the glass. Knocked away on that pass by Magic. And the East is alone for Eddie Johnson's second field. You know what you'll find in a game like this, Brent, is that offensively they'll be able to play as a team the tough thing is, is to work out the defensive differences it's, it's much more difficult to play team defense in all-star game but offense it pretty much takes care of itself they can play here is magic dropping the ball off inside for kareem and there's that beautiful pass back of course the two laker teammates worked that all week long, so it's just a regular play for them. Kareem was fouled by Moses Malone as he drove in with the left hand. Yes, uh, if you're going to try to guard a guy like Kareem, his favorite shot is sky hook. And so you've got to make him uh, use his left hand because uh, he's, although he is effective with it, not quite as effective as he is with his right hand. And when he shoots that sky hook, uh, that's a very high percentage shot. He played in a four overtime loss last Tuesday night to Cleveland and Kareem scored 42 points in that game. Well it's tough to score 153 points and lose a basketball game isn't it. <laughs> well that's two games. Exactly. Four overtimes. Johnson on a spinner and he traveled so it has been turned over to the Western Conference All Stars. They trail the East six to five here in the first period. You know what's really tough uh, at these all-star games? Uh, no matter who you guard, he's a pretty good shooter. Exactly. <laughs> you know. The doctor fouling Dantley reached over on him right there. Came up over his right shoulder. Of course, Dantley also was a teammate of Kareem's a year ago with the Lakers before he was traded to the Utah Jazz. Adrian will take the ball out of bounds now for the Western Conference All-Stars. So he will be very familiar with how to work off Kareem. Rolling skyhook. And another thing you find, these guys will pass a lot because they're going to enjoy this game, and most of them on their teams, they're responsible for the scoring. And so this is kind of a, a day off having fun. So they like to pass and, and, and show people some of their uh, lesser known skills. John Drew missing. Kareem with a defensive rebound. Here's Adrian on the break. That was a great pass, wasn't it, by the big fella down at the other end? Just think, if you've been playing for the Rams, they'd have won the Super Bowl. <laughs> Here's Johnson at the top of the circle. Steps inside the three-point line, and John Drew with his second shot. He's now 0 for 2. Julius with an offensive rebound. Marcus Johnson is extremely strong for the Milwaukee Bucks. Good rebounding forward. Magic traveled, and it has been turned over. That's the second time he's tried to force a pass inside. Well, he didn't expect the guy to try to play defense, after all. <laughs> Johnson comes down to the right. Magic will be tracking George Gervin. Now they've switched, and Magic has got Drew, so Marcus Johnson has Gervin, and Magic reached up over Drew and fouled him. How would you like to be Magic Johnson guarding George Gervin, or vice versa? No, thank you. Because that's, that's a no-win situation. <laughs> 
Here's Johnson coming around, Bill. Going to spin it up with a left hand. Knocked back to Lloyd Free, who slipped. And this is Johnson coming back in. Dished over to Moses Malone, and he was fouled. You see, one thing you got to remember about the big guys. They do not like to see the other big guys dunk. They don't mind you making a good shot on them, a hook or a jump shot, but they really don't like those dunk shots. They don't like that power display, right? As Kareem was coming up, and I guess it got him afterwards with his body as he went past, because he sure had the ball with his hand, didn't he? Moses Malone to the Houston Rockets. Third All-Star game. And he's still a kid. He'd be a second-year player in the NBA if he'd gone on to college. He's out of Petersburg High School in Virginia. Kareem out high. Uh, works the handoff now. And it goes to Marcus Johnson. Kareem goes inside, and Adrian Dantley. That's his strength. You know, it's very funny that the skills that some of these players have uh, are so unusual. Now, Adrian Dent is a small forward, but he's most effective inside. And you would think the big guy, most people think the big guy's the most effective inside. Long rebounding his missed hook shot and drew the second foul as he comes up to the free throw line. You know, what he does a lot is he takes a shot that he doesn't expect to make so he can make the follow-up because he's a great rebounder. Well, is it easy to rebound a missed hook shot for a pivot man? It, probably, it is the easiest shot for a pivot man to, to rebound is his own hook, missed hook shot. First of all, uh, if you fall through properly, you're facing the basket and you're going toward the basket. And second of all, when you miss that particular shot, you should know which way it's going to miss. With seven minutes and 57 seconds to go in the first period, it's 11-9. The West leading by a field goal, and Dantley with Irving coming over him for the doctor's second foul. Here that early, was an Kareem. excellent pass. It sure was. Great Kareem has got... four assists already. Well, what he's doing so well on his pass is this, the proper speed. Because, if, you know, you can get a guy the ball anywhere, but if it's not where he can use it, where it's uh, chest high and the proper speed so he doesn't have to take steps or slow up or speed up to, to catch the pass, and what he's doing, he's dropping the ball so the guy can run to it. And those are the great passes. And that's one of the reasons the Lakers are so tough this year. Natalie is shooting for his sixth point. West increases that lead here in the first period. And if you want to get a lot of assistance, uh, Adrian Dan is glad to help you out. <laughs> <laughs> There's the Iceman, got inside of Magic, and the reverse spinner put in the field. In your face. <laughs> Johnson of the Atlanta Hawks. Back down for the East. Gervais. Passed down the baseline. Couldn't get control of it, and he traveled. George Gervin, he knows that's body control. And it looks like he wasn't even looking, but he knew where it was. Knocked away from Dantley. Irving anticipating that pass from Kareem. Magic spinning, right hand off the glass, and Moses snapped it off, and with the Johnson, here's Drew on his right. That should be an offensive foul. Yes, sir, he came right up on Kareem. Now, this is a great defensive play by Kareem, but you see the intensity. John Drew really wanted to make that one because he wasn't giving up anything. We've got a timeout in Landover. Rod, we will be in Philadelphia for the Lakers and the 76ers. That's the game of the week next Sunday on CBS. The Lakers are 38-17, half game behind Seattle and the tough Pacific on the turnover. Here comes the Eastern Conference All-Stars, the Doctor. That's his kind of game if you give him a lot of open floor. Inside to Kareem with that dump off pass. Great defensive play by the doctor. No, he wanted it, and Kareem came over on the delay, and Julius steals it over his back to the ice man, and it was blocked, and he came away with it. Oh, isn't that fun? Take your best shot. <laughs> oh, they were working at both ends, weren't they? Tough defense, great offense that time. 
That's what you expect from all stars. Lloyd free right back for the West. As Dantley had it knocked away, stolen by Magic. Now here's a, the doctor doing his thing. You know, he takes off and, and he really defies the laws of gravity. Great defense by Kareem. Good reaction because he, he went after the ball a second time. All right, Joe Gashu now has got the Western Conference All-Stars taking out of bounds. Our first substitute, Danny Roundfield, will be checking in. That foul was the third team foul against the East and third on the doctor. So the doctor leaves because he has picked up three fouls. And Danny Roundfield of the Atlanta Hawks, I suppose one of the more underrated players in the NBA, although we tend to overuse that word. Marcus had it rejected. Dantley comes back inside with a power shot. Moses with a hand. Gervin runs it down now for the East. We're tied at 15. Ice. We're tied no more. See, as the guys get to the floor of the game, the defense will improve. Because they'll pick up the key to the defense is timing. And these guys, one of the things that makes them so good, they have good timing. Kareem backing in on Malone. Rolled up a missed hook shot, and Magic with a steal will come down the baseline and dish to Kareem. A lot of players would have put up the shot, but Kareem knows that Magic's strength is that passing game, and he kept coming from the other wing. And here's Ice again. Free missed the rebound, and it's Malone back up for the Eastern Conference. 19-17 East. Free dumps the pass back to Kareem all alone there at the right side. Free with an offensive rebound. John Drew. Overlet Moses Malone. Magic sealing him up. This is a great pass. He went and drew the defensive man. They had Moses Malone up there. And while he's up there, Kareem was up there. That roar is for that man right there, Elvin Hayes who has been in the NBA for 12 years and has been a member of the All-Star team in each of those 12 years. And there comes a man who was the most valuable player in last year's championship series, Dennis Johnson of the NBA titleist Seattle Supersonics now on the floor. And it doesn't take E. Long, does it? <laughs> he won that first one. Oh, yeah. I'll get into the rhythm of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Contribute right away. You know, it's remarkable because Elvin Hayes in an All-Star game, that's one of the guys I played against. <laughs> that's right. In his first game, he was jumping center against you. In that, and he was just a kid then. You realize that Magic Johnson is the first rookie to start in the All-Star game since Elvin did that year. That was 12 seasons ago. Some marvelous young talent in the league. I remember the scouts last year telling me that it was a thin year. You sure wouldn't believe it now, would you? With all the skillful youngsters around the league and Walter Davis has checked in for the Western Conference stars from the Phoenix Suns. You know, Brent, I think that this year is the strongest the league has been in a dozen years in terms of the number of quality teams. The guys that play good, hard-nosed defense. Uh, you got some super teams, but you also have some really good teams. You know, you got you got about four or five super teams. You're talking about Boston, uh, Seattle, uh, Phoenix, L.A., Philadelphia. You got Atlanta, uh, San Antonio. These are good teams, outstanding teams. And then a lot of the teams are, are improving, like New York Knickerbockers, that uh, have a lot of young players. And so this is a, a banner year for the NBA. Gervin uh -huh. foul magic, and we go back to show you Elvin Hayes moving around, and he went right back to Danny Roundfield. Uh -huh. On the spinner, came up, and look how he used the glass with that soft touch. You know, it must be funny. You take a guy like Elvin Hayes and, and Danny Roundfield. They beat each other up pretty good when they play against each other. There's a lot of contact when they play, and now they're passing to each other. I wonder if he's thinking, I shouldn't pass to him. <laughs> Speaking of one of the good teams you mentioned, the man bringing the ball up has had quite a year for the Boston Celtics. Number seven, Tiny Archibald. Great pass. Knocked away, and ice was fouled that time. Six. 
Okay. A little action away from the ball here. George Gervin, you know, he's uh, leading the league in scoring. And one of the things that has really made him so effective is this year, more than any time, he's moving so well without the ball. That he's, uh, his moves without the ball are, are as good as the ones that he has with the ball, which is unusual for a guy that scores that well. He used to take about 500 to 1,000 shots a day as a youngster, trying different angles and uh, different positions on the floor. Kareem gives it back to Walter Davis with a high, nice layup. Oh, it's he quite coming down the baseline. Walter Davis of the Phoenix Suns, and Ice is right back, pressuring one that time. <laughs> Sometimes it pays to be just a touch lucky down there. Dennis Johnson saves it. Marcus Johnson to Kareem. Malone's got an open man. And he goes to Moses. This is what the NBA is all about. This, this just is, you can see so many of these great skills that these guys do this stuff night in and night out. Just like that. Bill Magic Johnson coming down the baseline. He is as good as advertised, and so is George Gervin. Trying for his third straight NBA scoring title. Here's Dennis Johnson losing inside. Moses from behind his back. Gervin to Tiny back to Malone. Green snaps it off, and here comes Marcus. They did everything right but score. DJ. Left hand. And he was fouled coming up inside Archibald. His tiny give it the whole thing. Four shots. His fine teammate, Jack Sikba, number 43, is now on the floor. Marcus Johnson of Milwaukee started. He's still out there with Walter Davis. And Paul Westfall of Phoenix, number 44, is also there. Michael Ray Richardson of the New York Knicks is in for the first time. He'll work in the backcourt with Tiny Archibald. And Bill Cartwright of the Knicks just threw the ball in by. I think you'll find this is probably one of the younger All-Star games that the participants of the average age are so young. Because you got a lot of young kids. And this just uh, gives an indication not only of how good the NBA is, but how good it's going to be for the next few years. Hayes fouled Davis as the Greyhound came up underneath. Phoenix in the Pacific Division is three games behind Seattle. Two and a half behind the Los Angeles Lakers. That's a tough division. Isn't it, though? You know something about that one, Mr. Russell. You brought Dennis Johnson to the Seattle Supersonics. You were the coach when he came out of Pepperdine. Remarkable young man, uh, hard worker, very bright, and one of the finest human beings you're going to ever meet anywhere. You know, and that's uh, that's one of the things that makes it nice to be around professional athletics. Some of the people are so, such good people. Westfall steals, and here he is, DJ of the Supersonics, just on cue for him. <laughs> right back now to Michael Ray Richardson. What a story he's been for the Knicks. Traveling that time, turning it over. Take that. Westfall just hammered it away, didn't he? And back came Dennis Johnson, right up on Archibald, and DJ hits one outside. Back to back field goals by DJ for the Western Conference All Stars. It is 33 28 the West over the East. Archibald, sick over the hand, and Marcus Johnson saved it, but it'll go to the East. Archibald swooped it over to Bill Cartwright from Russell's San Francisco. Here comes DJ again. A little high for Marcus. He was alone underneath. Sigma's back on defense, but he's the only one. And outfield travel. That was caused by good defense. Uh, instead of going for the fake, the defensive man made the fake. And he had to hold off all three of them, too. Right. Sikma had to hold his ground. Here's Jack moving it to Davis. Put it down left-handed. And coming over was Cartwright goaltending. So score the basket that time for the West. And they now lead it 35-28. So they have opened up 
a seven-point margin, the largest of the game. Archibald with a set shot, up over the top and out. You know, trying to guard a guy like Walt Davis, you got to feel like a bullfighter because <laughs> he's going by you. Westfall checking the clock. Richardson picking him up at the midcourt line. Time remaining in the first period as West runs it down. DJ. They'll have to hurry for the last shot. They will not get one off. As a matter of fact, he played against the Eastern Conference coach, Billy Cunningham, in three previous NBA All-Star games. In that first period, Russ, they hit 52%, 13 to 25, the East 12 to 28, 43%. Here comes the West. I think if you find that in uh, the first quarter, the West played pretty fair defense when you consider the, the amount of good shooting that was going on out there. And again, on cue, some more of that good defense. Westfall with the steal bringing it in. And I see that Kermit Washington of the Portland Trailblazers is out there now for Lenny Wilkins. He replaced the injured Scott Wedman on the team. Scott, incidentally, is coming along fine. He suffered some severe facial damage underneath the right eye. Not as serious as was first feared. He will be rejoining Kansas City within the month, I understand. And Roundfield was dueling Kermit Washington underneath that time, and the ball will go over to the east. Do you like young Cartwright, Bill, of what you've seen of him? Yes, I uh, I think he's going to really be an effective player. I think he could probably lose a little weight because in these games, uh, the stuff that you have to carry, you have to carry. Hello, and, uh, Cartwright. He's, he's a good offensive player, and I just hope that while he's with the Knicks, that... Uh, they make sure that he learns to play the good defense and the rebound that he should be. But I think he will because he's a, a really promising young player. He's got a good scoring touch, and he's a pretty tough guy. And you have to be tough to play the center in this, in this league. Off to DJ from Kermit. And Dennis is red hot offensively. Tiny brings it down for the East. Right hand layup. And it's Cartwright. Larry Bird of the Boston Celtics will soon be checking in for Billy C. Davis back to Sigma. Roundfield is off now to Michael Ray Richardson. Out of the Knicks in Montana. As Roundfield came in, there was pushing. Sigma was in behind him, and Jack fouled him. And here comes the rookie out of Indiana State, who has lived up to his expectations. Larry Bird, and I'm told the other night here in Washington, he put on a clinic. Dave Collins is out, so he has had to carry the load along with Maxwell rebounding. And I guess he's really picked up the slack, although Rick Roby's done a good job for the Celtics this year, too. Roundfield. Good. The Celtics with uh, this year, they've, they've turned to a super team. Uh, they've combined a lot of different elements. And, uh, you know, they didn't play well last year. And the changes were mostly subtle changes, although uh, because the things that the skills that Bird shows, uh, a lot of them, uh, you can hear about his rebounding, his scoring, and all that. But some of the things that he's shown are the subtle things, you know. Stays with it, and there's a foul. Now, that's an example of why Kermit Washington is in the All-Star game. Because he's as tough as nails, and he gets in there, and he stays right with it. He never backs off.
it is really so nice to see Kermit Washington in this game. He, of course, was involved in that unfortunate accident involving Rudy Tomjanovich a couple years ago. But Kermit has hung in there. He was given to Portland as compensation when Bill Walton signed with San Diego. And here he is in an all-star game. Back where it all began for him, really, he was a star at American University, and they retired his jersey while he was in Washington for this all-star weekend. And boy, this game is off to a marvelous start, isn't it? Sigma. Here's Dantley. And Roundfield came with it. He says, don't come in here with anything weak. <laughs> Roundfield with strength at the offensive end and a chance for the three-pointer. That's pure strength and body control. You know what's remarkable about this All-Star game? That a great many of these players, usually in All-Star games, you got a lot of offensive players. But you got guys like Dan Roundfield and Kermit Washington, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, guys like Dennis Johnson, guys like this, that are outstanding defensive players. And so you get a glimpse of something that these guys do night in and night out. It's just marvelous. Larry Bird is assigned to Kermit Washington. Dantley outside with Roundfield. Roundfield didn't believe he was going to shoot out there. <laughs> Dantley had a 50-point night earlier this season for Utah. Gervin, a 55-pointer for San Antonio. Here's Cartwright. On the line, the Eastern Conference team will say the referee is Ed Rush, and Ed brought his son, Ed Jr., to the game. And wouldn't you know it, the young man came down with chicken box and couldn't be here. So he's watching his dad officiate back in the hotel. And his dad wanted everybody to say hello to him today because his big goal was to come on out and watch the stars today, and he can't be here. Loose ball picked up by Sigma. Off to Otis Birdsong, Kansas City. West ball in the middle, and he goes to AD. Classic fast break. Three men coming down that time. That's ten points for Dantley. Archibald passing off to Richardson. Michael Ray's first field goal. Billy Cunningham is going to go back to his bench and bring some of his starters in as Dantley. It's still another field goal. And boy, he's been an offensive difference, hasn't he, in this game? Cartwright. Sigma. Westfall leads to AD. Now Larry Bird's coming with him. Did you see Larry drop off? He didn't give him the layup that time. Very smart defensive work. That's a pretty good pass. Moving without the ball is the key to scoring. Uh, for a lot of guys that are uh, high scorers, they've got to be able to move as much without the ball and as well. And moving without the ball doesn't mean that you pass the ball and just run. You change the speed, you change the pace. And anything to throw the defensive man a half a step off. That's all you, that's all you should need is a half a step. Dantley gave it back, and Kermit Washington and Bird rebounds. And now it's the East for the fast break. Behind is back. Pass back up the middle, make that pass, and stay right with it when they right in there. Bird song. Dantley to save it, and the ball goes out of bounds. It'll go over to the east. One of the nice things about having Magic Johnson and Larry Bird come into the NBA this year is that both of them feature the passing game. And I think it has been somewhat contagious around the league. We've seen more team basketball. I noticed crowds cheering the pass like never before. It used to be the shooters that got all the ovation, and now it's the good pass you'll see in the arenas. Yeah, these guys, not only are they making good passes, but they're showing that they can, you can pass, win, and have a good time, and put on a good show. And uh, all the way to Joe's nose before he finally eased up. The crowd loves it. The chicken just found that out? <laughs> <laughs> Larry Bird will inbound the ball for the East. There it is to Eddie Johnson. A.D. watching Bird. 
We forgot all about the shot clock in this game, didn't we? The way they put it up. Moses inside. Eddie Johnson of Atlanta all alone. Back on the floor for Eddie, Eddie Johnson, Larry Bird, John Drew, George Gervin, and Moses Malone for the West Ball. West Ball, Jack Sikma, Otis Birdsong, Adrian Dantley, and Kermit Washington. And Adrian Dantley and George Gervin have a leg up now in the run for the most valuable player here today. West Ball, as he came up with a shot, was fouled by Johnson. Dantley is 5 of 10 from the field. Gervin, 6 of 9 for a total of 13 points. And I'll tell you, there's another player we should consider right now. Dennis Johnson came off the bench and threw in 4 of 7 for the West. Total of 10 points, and here's West Paul. And you know, um, I think that one of the things that started off so well for the West was the play in the, the very few first few minutes of the game of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, because he made some great passes, uh, and he he really closed the middle down when they jumped off to the lead. Malone off now to Johnson. It's an eight-point lead by the West. The East and the White. And as Johnson came in, Westfall fouled him. And you know, at halftime, you're going to see some of the legends of the NBA. Oscar Robertson is here. George Mikan, Bill Sharman, now the general manager of the Lakers. They're going to be in uniform. And they got a little hot shot competition they're going to go through. And that ought to be a lot of fun. They were all out here practicing. It looked to me like Sharman and Robertson might be the two favorites, but we'll see at halftime. Moses jumped it into Gervin, got away, and Dantley now is off Otis to Westfall. And it'll go over. Paul touched it last as the ball caromed off his hand and out of bounds. Next. Brent, how'd you like to have to make the payroll for this team? <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather guard George Gerber. I'd like to tell you that. Drew had it swatted away by Kermit. And he was also fouled. And here comes Kareem back into the game. Speaking of payrolls. <laughs> yes. I think they gave him the whole building out there in Los Angeles, Bill. When they say franchise, they mean franchise. Don't they ever? So he got the man, and Drew will come up to the free throw line. Well, the Atlanta Hawks are going to be a factor in that Eastern Conference race before it's over. They talk a lot about Boston and Philadelphia, but every time I watch the Hawks, they're in it right down to the end, usually winning. Talk to their coach, Hubie Brown. He's in the audience watching today. Well, you know, if you play defense, no matter what the sport is, especially team sports, if you play defense, you're in every game. I noticed that about you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there were a lot of people thought I was pretty offensive. <laughs> You couldn't shoot a lick. <laughs> they didn't even know you were left-handed when you left the league. Was that Bill Shays? <laughs> Kermit into Kareem. Goes back. Kermit, of course, was a former teammate of Kareem's with the Lakers, too. They worked a little play, and there was a foul by Drew and a couple of free throws coming up. <laughs> Heavy traffic. You could see Gervin pulling away, too, at the last moment. And so Kermit Washington will step up to the free throw line. And this was my choice yesterday. Lloyd Free as the man I thought was going to be the MVP. I saw him with a bottle of beer in each hand last night. And he was doing good at the banquet. But maybe he was a little too loose. I thought for sure he'd come out here and throw in a three pointer and just turn red hot after that. The surprising thing that I don't think you find very many players in this game that shoot that shoot the three-point uh, take a three-point shot. Boston has been the most successful this year. Chris Ford, their fine guard, and also Larry Bird. He's hit about 40 percent from outside that three-point line that he was straddling just there. John Drew. There's AD. He's been every place. Bird song sends it to Kermit. Moses Malone with that inside rebounding position. Now it's Gervin looking for the middle. Forced that shot, and as Moses came up over the back of Kermit Washington, he fouled him. Elvin Hayes replaces Malone, and that means he will move to center. And if you're wondering why isn't Bill Cartwright coming back, well, he has been bothered by the flu. As a matter of fact, he was unable to attend the banquet last night, as was Eddie Johnson of Atlanta. In fact, Cartwright couldn't even practice. So it's possible that he is not at full strength today. They work the play to Dantley. Off the miss, it's Elvin. 
Now in the pivot, he'll be matched against an old nemesis, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. They played one of the great college games, didn't they, though? Traveling. At the Astrodome, with about 45,000, 40,000 people, as a one or two point ball game, great game. And the next time they met was UCLA in a route, as I recall, <laughs> too, when they caught him in that championship round of the NCAA playovers. There's Lenny Wilkins with Les Habegger on the right, and Billy Cunningham with the Philadelphia 70s. And we'll see Billy next Sunday on the game of the week. It'll be Philadelphia and the Los Angeles Lakers. Hot Rod Hundley and Bill Russell will be joining me in Philadelphia. We look forward to that game because the Lakers and the 76ers are two of those outstanding teams that Bill Russell mentioned earlier. And then the next week, we will be out in Seattle, the Boston Celtics and the Seattle Supersonics. So a lot of action coming your way on the NBA Game of the Week this year on CBS. And here's A.D., Adrian Dantley. That's 13 points for A.D. And Danny Brownfield returns with his teammate, John Drew, going out. Bird, Roundfield, and Hayes up front right now for the East. I tell you, with uh, Roundfield and Hayes, uh, there's going to be some contact on the boards in the next couple of minutes. You can count on that. Let's see. Marcus Johnson, Adrian Dantley, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar are matched against them up front. With the exception of Kareem, the East has a height advantage underneath, but we'll see if they can take advantage of it right now. That's a big if with Kareem and a Danny Roundfield positioning. Fifty-two forty-five. The West over the East. Otis Birdsong. Kansas City gives it up. Marcus Johnson. Quick release. Free had a hand on it, and George Gervin took it out of there. And here comes Eddie Johnson. Roundfield again. Two in a row and a chance for a three-pointer. That's why the coaches like Danny Roundfield. Fine rebounding position, hustling down. Can you imagine psychological effect? You look at the guy, he's got a tooth knocked out, and he's smiling. And that means, I've been in here before, kid. How about that tooth that Gus Johnson <laughs> used to have when you came down on him? That star. He was a powerful man, wasn't he? Usually see Gus when we drop by the Washington area. Gus was a little different. <laughs> Here's Free maneuvering to the left hand. With this lineup, Birdsong back to six. They hustle to the right side, and there he is over there. E, two of them. for the rebound and did not expect the pass. One thing you will see in all-star games in the NBA frequently... I'm going to go one-on-one -on -one with the chicken. Uh, heck with that shooting stuff. Uh, I think the chicken can be had. He's the only one I can stay up with these days. Bob, you're looking good. Good luck to you. Thank you, Ed. Let's go back to Brett. Thank you, Hot Rod. Larry Bird to the Iceman. And Gervin now has 15 points. That is a high precision shot. <laughs> 20 to go here in the first half. Marcus Johnson. Gervin with a hand on it. Runs it down. Lead pass to Eddie Johnson. As soon as Johnson saw Gervin go for the rebound, he simply busted free. Adrian Danley with 14 points. Goes to Kareem and cuts off him. And on the turnover, here comes Gervin again. Going for 17. Left-handed, right-handed, what the heck? <laughs> Kareem looking for the pass, and AD was cut off by good defensive work by Roundfield. So Kareem with the ultimate solution. Take that. Roundfield! Back at you. <laughs> Left-handed at that. Free. 
Comes around Marcus Washington's pick. So it has been whittled down and tied. Eddie Johnson comes in and he gets the East back even again. Inside of a minute. The NBA All-Star Game is tied at 62, and those great stars coming up at halftime. Elvin Hayes to Durbin, and here he comes. No battle oh, for Travel. Trying to decide what kind of a dunk to use. Durbin forgot about his feet. Showtime, showtime. <laughs> you know, I didn't see the travel. Well, you know how the referees are. They see all that little stuff. He's just little stamp. They weren't the big ones. see that because Kareem really responded just a little push just a little what well, Kareem said get off of me Big E did you see that not in an all-star game I'll he's settle for it during the regular season but not today fortunately he was only half serious <laughs> yes indeed he is a student of boxing as a matter of fact they take you into an awful lot of films and show you the great heavyweights of all time he seems to be enjoying this season with the Los Angeles Lakers. I had the feeling the last couple of years that he might be a little tired of basketball, but not this year. Here's Eddie Johnson now. Inside pass, round field with a spinner. Retrieves, reverse layup, and the round field came to play. Well, you know, the reason I think he's enjoying it so much is that the Lakers, uh, for the first time in a long time, are really taking advantage of all his diverse skills. He has a lot of skills that he hasn't been able to really use because they depended on him so much for scoring before, and now he's passing, he's rebounding, he's closing the middle, and so when you can use all your skills, it's got to be fun. With the score tied, Lloyd Free turned it over and gave Billy C's. Eastern Conference All-Stars a chance here to take the halftime lead after trailing by as many as nine. Bird tosses one up a runner. Kareem is off. We've come to the end of the first half, and we are dead even. Stars take it out of bounds. It's Gervin and Archibald bringing it up, and they'll have the doctor, Malone, and Roundfield underneath. And here comes Julius. And as he came inside, the ball lost, and a foul with Magic Johnson coming over on George Gervin. Now, the difference uh, as the game is, is seesawed a little bit, as the East got behind and caught up, is that uh, quickness. When the East put it, a squad with the best quickness, that's when they caught up. In an all-star game, it's the combinations you use that make the difference. Danny Roundfield coming in and drawing the foul from Kareem on the shot. So Danny will move up to the free throw line. And he's been a tower of strength here for the Eastern Conference. At this point, if you're going to look at two guys that brought the East back, you'd have to say Dan Roundfield and George Gervin did. They did a tremendous job that second quarter in bringing the East back into the game. That was a long halftime. And I would imagine that it's going to take a few minutes for these athletes to get back into a rhythm. I have noticed in particular at Super Bowl games with the extra long halftime that there's a sluggishness as we start the third quarter and the same might be the case here until they get warmed up properly again. Well what happens is at halftime through a season it becomes consistent and players time their bodies almost to be ready to play the second half. You get in a rhythm that you pick up through the, through the season so that you play just as well as the third quarter starts. In this game, when you have an extra time out, that makes it very difficult to come back. To it takes a couple of minutes, uh, maybe five times up and down before you start to feel it. DJ was cooking on that steal, came down and hit the field goal. He now has 12. Loose ball foul against Julius Irving. He was pushing against Walter Davis. That's four. Does he know that number six never pushes? <laughs> <laughs> Not something that you'd notice. So just a slight push. He says, you know, when you give a little push, it really shouldn't be penalized for that. Marcus over to Davis. Davis sends it back, and on the turnover, it's Tiny Archibald to the Celtics. It's four on one, and the reverse layup by George Durbin. And Durbin has now scored 19 for the East. Magic Johnson breaks the tie. Sends the West ahead on that field goal. 
So Magic is there with Dennis Johnson, Marcus Johnson, Walter Davis, and Abdul Jabbar. For Lenny Wilkins Western Conference All Stars, the doctor. Round field as he came up inside Kareem, drew the foul. Dan Roundfield is tough. You know, he's the key, I think, probably the key guy with the uh, Atlanta Hawks because of he plays good, strong defense, and they like to run, and he, he's a, a good rebounder as you're going to find in forward position. One thing you notice about him, Bill, is how he's improved as a shooter. He shot only 43% from the floor when he was a rookie with the ABAs, then Indiana Pacers, and last year he had 51%. So he has been working away and just coming along and this year he's on the all-star team they went back door and Roundfield got a hand on it here comes tiny it's a one-point Western Conference lead tied up inside and Archibald threw up a right can you believe he came down with the rebounder at 6-1 here's DJ it's three out one magic back to DJ behind his back and it finally gets over to Johnson rammed in by Marcus Johnson, oh, Marcus Johnson. Everybody will get loose here in a couple more trips, and away we'll go again. You know, it's going to be hard to improve on that first half, though. That oh, was just some great basketball. Brownfield couldn't get control. Malone. You know, in most games, uh, at least 70 to 75% of your rebounds are taken below the height of the rim. But sometimes in these All-Star games, that percentage goes down. There are a lot of rebounds taken above the height of the rim. Irvin the bounce pass to Julius. Set one inside. Loose ball on the turnover. It's Walter Davis. Kareem is in behind the defense, and Walter took it for the layup, but Kareem was standing there for the rebound. I'm somewhat surprised that Davis didn't slip the pass to him that time. The doctor. Davis didn't see it coming. His back was turned when. Kareem fired one at him, and the ball rolled out of bounds, so we'll have a timeout. The West. Everything and happy to be here with Abe. All right. Good luck to both of you. Let's go back to Brent and Bill Russell. The Eastern Conference now shooting for the lead. Moses Malone double team when Magic Johnson went to the ball that time. And as Gervin put it down, there was a foul. What were you yelling at uh, Dennis Johnson that trip down the floor? I saw you doing a little coaching over here. <laughs> We're supposed to be impartial. <laughs> what were you up to that time? I was telling him to play a little defense. That's what I thought you were doing. That's a frequent yell. I'm not impartial. I, can't, <laughs> I, I must confess. Moses on the dribble. Give it up. Here's the doctor. And there's that round field again. And Kareem just kind of stood there and sealed it off. And it was not going to be an easy layup. Ball. Ball on Moses Malone picked up that loose ball foul. That's his third, and Elvin Hayes will replace the chairman of the boards from Houston. The West with the ball and a one-point lead and a sellout crowd. Better than 19,000 on hand here at the Capitol Center. Marcus Johnson of the Milwaukee Bucks sends it to Abdul Jabbar. Wanted to go back. Durbin anticipating it was a dangerous low percentage pass. Davis sticks with the ice man and went to the glass, and Hayes on the ball. Turned it over. A sloppy inbounds play, and it'll go right back. So the East with a one-point lead on that last field goal and a chance now to increase it. Magic is sagging off of Archibald. Tiny's nobody's on him. Magic didn't follow him. He was kind of hanging off in the middle, but it didn't matter because there was a foul. Kermit Washington will replace. Marcus Johnson as Roundfield steps to the free throw line. The foul was against Marcus, his second. He goes out for Lenny Wilkins. Now, you may have noticed the defense has improved this half because the guys are picking up um, an idea of what's happening defensively. And, and it's much dip more difficult to pick up on that than is the offense because the offense is all, it's the thing that they've practiced the most for, for most of the time they've been playing basketball. So that usually in the second half of an all-star game, this is when the defense starts to show itself. It's like the late innings in, uh, in baseball when the pitchers start to get tough. And they bring on those fresh arms out of the way. 
Chris Johnson sends it to cover Washington. Brownfield trying to help out on Kareem, who simply moved away. Backing up on Elvin, maneuvering. Elvin trying to draw the foul. Kareem to the offensive rebound as Elvin got out of rebounding position. Finally, it's the doctor taking it down. Clean pass. Here comes Tiny. And Magic got a hand and deflected it out of bounds without drawing the foul in that situation. That's why he is so talented on defense. Now, uh, in this play, Kareem uh, takes a shot. He gets his own rebound. He gets nuts just a little bit. But the big guys, you know, they don't give the big guys all the free throws. They say that he's big enough to take care of himself. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the Los Angeles Lakers. With George Gervin of the San Antonio Spurs missing a free throw. And the San Diego Chicken entertaining one and all. You know, he interviewed the... Uh, the best possible interview you could have. He interviewed the basketball the last <laughs> Now for George Gervin in this all-star game, 21 points. A definite candidate for our most valuable player today, isn't it? Davis is missed. Gervin almost had the rebound. Loose. Picked up again by Davis off of Magic Johnson's hands. And here comes the duck. Dennis Johnson is back. DJ put a move on him and got inside. Hayes fouling Dennis Johnson, but oh, did Dennis ever motor past Gervin that time? Oh, he oh, had to go. Had to do it. Had to do it. Dennis Johnson of the Seattle Supersonics is at the free throw line, and the East now has opened up its largest lead of the contest. It is six points, and it's rather interesting the lineup that Billy Cunningham obviously favors. He wants speed plus some rebounding muscle. Tiny Archibald keying it. Dan Roundfield helping up front with Elvin Hayes. Moses Malone went out, and Kermit Washington will be working with Abdul Jabbar, Paul Westfall in the backcourt, and Walter Davis now on the floor for the West. Billy obviously wants to run as much as possible, and I guess he favors Archibald as his lead guard. Loose, you know, loose. You know, Brent, I talked to uh, Nate Archibald the year that he had a great year when he led the league in scoring and assist. You know what he told me? He said, I don't like playing oh, like this. Oh. Really? He said, because I'm not playing basketball. And then I talked to him earlier this year when he was playing with Boston. He says, this is the way I want to play. When you can, can, I can use my skills to help my team win rather than pile up statistics and we don't win. And he has made a great contribution to Bill Finch and the Boston Celtics. West Falls three-point try was no good, and Kermit Washington tipped it in. Down to one now, and there was some sloppy basketball a few moments ago on that inbounds pass. They wanted Hayes to go in, and Elvin was held up as he attempted to make the move. The foul is on Washington. And another one of the skills that, uh, lesser known skills that these All-Stars have is the ability to act. Indeed. <laughs> and Elvin Hayes ball. goes for an Oscar <laughs> game, I think. Well, mostly Emmy, you know, just a small award. That's television. 78-77 <laughs> <I forget. laughs> with the Big E at the line and 6-12 to go in period number three. Yeah, you know, these guys can push through a brick wall, and, you, and the way they fall out and, and, and act, you think that they, they were weak as spaghetti. Westfall, Phoenix Suns, brings it up for the West. Kareem, short. Here's Tiny. Gervin's going to come in for the shot. He uses that glass so very well, and now he has scored 25, and Westfall's going to come right back. Except that Hayes has not given him any daylight, so they went into Kermit. Good defensive play by Roundfield. Uh, oh, got the offensive foul. foul. I can't believe that. Yes, well, uh, Kermit had to push him a little bit because Roundfield was all over. And this is George Gervin. It, he's deceptively fast, and he, he has such great control. He never loses concentration. Eddie Johnson is back. He threw the ball to the doctor. Chance for the three-point. Good spot coming in, wasn't it? This is 
ball control. <laughs> what a remarkable athlete, huh? He leads the world in hang time, doesn't he? I think that maybe one of these days he's going to forget to come down. <laughs> Such a pleasure to see him without those knee braces this year. And, of course, we'll see him with Philadelphia next Sunday in our game of the week. It'll be the Los Angeles Lakers in Philadelphia. We'll start 1 o'clock in the east, 12 o'clock central, 11 o'clock mountain time, and 10 o'clock the Pacific Network. Green gave it back to Dennis Johnson. Went after the rebound. Loose. Off of Kermit and out of bounds. So it hit Kermit. And ricocheted out. And the East with possession. Dennis Johnson assigned to Kermit. Westfall watching Johnson. And here's the big E outside and off the mark. Kareem in the middle sent it to Westfall. Three on two. Davis pulls up. Westfall. Loose ball is the call. And Adrian Dantley has checked in. Here comes Julius. With the first foul on Walter Davis. Irving at the line. Three team fouls against the East. And of course the West already in the penalty. And Billy Cunningham, surrounded by Chuck Daly, Jack McMahon of the 76ers. Cunningham looks almost like a prophet. He says uh, this time before, uh, they were 20 points behind, so they were only seven, eight behind in good position. And they're threatening to pull away. The West can't seem to get back that earlier rhythm. And now it is the biggest lead of the game by the East, 10, as Dantley powered in. Here comes Julius. It'll be easy for Durbin. And he didn't travel that time. No travel. That's a guard. <laughs> the East is in control. Now here's a guy playing guard. This is showtime. Watch ice on this dunk. And Dennis Johnson bring it up now for the West. It is 89-77. The East leading, and here comes Westfall sending it right back to Dennis as they move in. So Lenny Wilkins and Les Habegger trying to regroup the Western Conference All-Stars here for the stretch run. Larry Bird watching as the doctor goes to Bill Cartwright of the Knicks. Puts it on the floor. Jump hook by Bill. Doesn't he have any respect? <laughs> <laughs> said, Take this, big fella. Westfall and offensive foul. It'll go to the east. That's four on Kareem. Johnson came with a beautiful cut on Westfall. He led him over to the left and then made the move right down the middle. And no one jumped in there to pick him up. Well, they expect the little guy to know better. <laughs> Here's DJ. Pulls up. And it went to Kareem. Maneuvers on Cartwright. Yanked down by Irving. High dribble. Three on one. Only Westfall. It'll be ice. And he was fouled. Chance for the three-pointer. Super play by Julius Irving. Uh, Irving to Gervy. <laughs> <laughs> he just waited until the last possible second. Westfall was the only defender back. Well, you see, you take it until it, the defensive man has to commit himself. Uh, especially on a, a, a three on one or two on one. Well, then they can't stop you. But if the defensive man can make you pull up before you want to, then he before you want to, then he can uh, stop you. But the good players like that can handle the ball as well as a guy like Julius Irving. They make you commit. 
and then that hurts. Dennis Johnson with a strong offensive rebound came up inside of Elvin Hayes and Dennis was fouled oh, as Kareem is now watching from the Western bench with Jack Sigma of the NBA champion Seattle Supersonics number 43 now in so we'll have two Supersonics out there Sigma and Dennis Johnson and Billy Cunningham wants Michael Ray Richardson of the Knicks to go in and here comes George Gervin out. You mentioned Kareem earlier Bill but you know I think it's one of the better all star games that I've seen him play. Yes he's uh, this year I think uh, much as since he was a, a young player with Milwaukee he's really enjoying playing and it's so obvious. Johnson comes down. It's Johnson on Johnson. Julius Hayes wanted to screen and now Elvin pops out and here's Michael Ray. Nice shot. A lot of folks have given up on him last year. Nick stayed right with him and now he has responded. There are a lot of good young players in the league now. We see so many new faces just in this All-Star game. Speaking of which, here's Larry Bird as the doctor goes out. You sometimes wonder why leads evaporate so rapidly in the NBA. And I think Bill Russell touched on it there at halftime when he said the shooting skills are so good. You get up by 20 points in this league, and that's really not much at all. The way they shoot, they play a little defense at one end. Because right now the East leads 98 82 over the West and I don't know anybody who will be ready to give up on this collection of Western Conference all stars. Well what they'll have to do if they're going to get back in the game is they'll have to tighten up defensively and see what happens in these games as you change combination and as guys get tired and you take in and re respond to that different you get a different rhythm for each team. And then this is why you see sometimes the guy take a 15 foot shot and miss it badly and then two minutes later he took the same shot and you know he's going to make it because the rhythm changes. And in an all-star game is particularly evident because when the guys are going good they're so good. Westfall came over on Johnson. Tough to come back when someone's shooting as Michael Roy Richardson has. The last couple of trips for him. That's coming up next and there's Jack Nicholas now at 10 under. Right to Lloyd Free. Rob to Westfall. So it is 100 to 85 with two minutes to go in the third period. The Eastern Conference All-Stars are at the century mark. Signal with Cartwright. And he stepped on the line. It has been turned over to the West. Bird. Put a foot out of bounds. Westfall free, Dantley, Sigma, and Washington. Free went to Dantley inside where he just loves to be. That's 16 for AD. Bird goes back to Johnson and moves to E. Jack Sigma did not see Kermit Washington, who had broken free on that play. Uh, he saw him, but it would, it would probably have been a bad pass to make. You think so? I thought maybe he could have got it there, bro. Well, it, if he had thrown the pass, it would have been up for grabs. Because they, they were both pretty much even, and Kerman wasn't any faster than the guy that was guarding. And it was Elvin Hayes, and you know, sometimes after a man hits the field goal, he'll sit there and enjoy the moment a little bit. Come on, crowd, <laughs> let me hear it, and that defensive guy will bust free on you. Here's Westfall. Marcus Johnson soon will return for the West. There's a little pride at stake. I saw numerous articles before the NBA season began that said the balance of power in the NBA was now located west of the Mississippi. And I'm sure that the Eastern Conference players who can read notice that. <laughs> Yeah, that's nothing to get you up for a game in bed and, and to hear that you have no chance. Isn't that the truth? Just like the Los Angeles Rams in the Super Bowl. You know, I remember when I was playing All-Star games, uh, we get we went out to LA to play the All-Star game, and their starting lineup averaged like 150 points a game. And uh, the, the writers in LA said they 
probably beat us uh, 200 to 85. And by the same time the game started, I was so steamed up, I couldn't believe it. And you spoke to them that year, too. Yeah, we kind of beat them pretty good. <laughs> Loose, 200 points, we said, huh? Jump it up. No, we'll have a jump ball. Larry Bird and Jack Sapunt. John Drew was in the middle, too, wasn't he? Bird taps it over to Richardson. Lead for Eddie Johnson. Eddie Johnson. Now the West players are going to start to get a little testy. And so's the West coach. Lenny Wilkins was up yelling at Joe Gishu. Free gets inside of Johnson. And it was A.D. with the rebound. Lost control or he would have gone right back up with the shot that time. Marcus all alone on the left side. Now breaks for the alley-oop. And John Drew committed the foul. Marcus Johnson and Westfall were going to work the alley-oop that time. Marcus cutting in for the basket. Westfall likes to do that with Walter Davis out in Phoenix occasionally. Michael Ray is over conferring with Billy C. Well, look at the body on Marcus Johnson. The strong shoulders. And that's why he's an outstanding rebounder. You know, one of the keys uh, to, to rebounding, besides strength, is quickness. Good lateral movement. And the East is really in command. It's 108-90. Golf course, Mr. Russell. Not the way Jack Nicklaus does it, though. You're not ready for him. Oh, no. We play a different game. Off Ray's hand and out of bounds. So it'll go over to the east. We have Eddie Johnson, Larry Burr, John Drew, Bill Cartwright, and Michael Ray Richardson out there right now. This is Drew. He was voted to the starting lineup. Larry Bird regains and was sealed up. Marcus was there on the turnover, and here's Frick. Quickly back to Bird. Drew. And he was fouled as he stepped inside of Adrian Dantley. Dantley got him. First foul on AD. Now the tough thing for the for Lenny Wilkins now is to get a defense, uh, a team out there that's defensively strong enough to stop the other team, but still has the scoring power to try to score to almost score every time down because they're going to have to score a lot of points. Plus they're going to have to stop the other guys. Drew came inside and Jack Sigma. Fouled him that time. If you're wondering about the points scored in that third quarter, the East came away with 44, and the record for an All Star game is 50. And they already have 108 with a quarter to go. Cartwright with that turnaround on Sigma. Oh, Richardson was high off the floor. It'll go over to the West. Sometimes when they get out of control, when they go up like that on a rebound, that's when a player can be injured. I think it was David Thompson in an NCAA game against Pittsburgh. I can still see him going head over heels. Or was that one of the Pittsburgh players? Now I have forgotten. It might have been Knight, come to think about it, in that game, but I can still see that replay in my mind. Strange enough, that very rarely happens rebounding. And that's when the guys are jumping highest. Why do you think that is, Bill? Well, mostly when the guys rebound, they're under control. When players get hurt is when they, they're moving in a different direction. And if you're thrown off balance, then it really accelerates it, the, the whole situation. Whereas when you rebound, you're getting knocked off balance just a little, little bit off. Ball given to the East. And here comes Fast Eddie Johnson of the Atlanta Hawks. Otis Birdsong, Kansas City with him, and Johnson just took him inside. That first step, he was at his side. And Free comes right back with a move on Johnson, coming to the left. A lot of players in the NBA will favor the right, particularly if they're right-handed. And Free said, let's go left this time. Here's Drew coming left, forcing a shot. Bird sends it back to John. Double team, Sigma is there. 
comes free and Richardson Drew with an offensive rebound and he's fouled as he comes up. Here's Lloyd Free. Cross dribble and between the legs. 110 95. And Lenny Wilkins has brought back Kareem Abdul Jabbar and he's going to work up front with Jack Sekma. Now they will use Adrian Dantley at the small forward spot and they will have Otis Birdsong working in the backcourt with Lloyd Free. But they face an uphill struggle against Drew Cartwright, Richardson, Johnson, and Larry Bird. Drew is out on Dantley. Bird will now take Sigma. Classical shooter when he gets turned around, isn't he? And that is his first field goal here this afternoon. Richardson comes around Bird. Kareem jumped off, sealed up defensively, and Dantley on the turnaround. But it was Kareem who was the key down in the middle. They tried to work the baseline. Bird is really battling Sigma right now. And a little bit too much, says Gashu. This is a contact sport. <laughs> Dantley sends it to Otis. Kareem faces up on Cartwright. Sigma was battling for the rebound and off it came to Drew and here's Richardson. And it's Richardson with a second chance. John Drew. And it has been turned over. Offensive foul. That is his fifth. Here's Kareem and whistle on the play, but no basket, no continuation on that shot. Julius Irving returns for the East. And Moses Malone, too, as Cartwright and Drew leave. So now Moses Malone will take charge of Abdul Jabbar. Bird is still on Sigma. And Jack with two in a row. It is 112.99, and that lineup change by Lenny Wilkins has altered the game. And that's why Billy Cunningham went quickly back to his bench. Kareem is off. Lead pass now. It's Otis Birdsong. It's three on one. Here comes Lloyd Free inside. Dentley to the offensive rebound, and he was fouled as he came up. It's against Michael Richardson. Danny Roundfield returns. He was one of the pivotal figures. And turn the ball, turn the ball game around the first half. Now what the uh, West has now is a good rebounding team, plus they got quickness. Now, what Cunningham is probably going to do is come back with a, with a quick team, try to come back with a quick team, and make these guys pay the price for being good rebounders, the stronger guys, but they got to go for quickness rather than strength. Durbin returns, and he leads all scorers with 30. Danny Roundfield with 16 points and 11 rebounds. Adrian Dantley now with 16 points. And the West, which trailed by 17, has come to within 13, 12. And 8.22 left. And here's Eddie Johnson. Sigma has Malone on this trip. Moses with a jump pass, and there's the power of round field and the defense held. Birdsong coming down on Irving. On the right now, Sigma comes over, and here's Kareem. Kareem's good pass inside. Adrian Dantley was free underneath. It's a 10-point game, 112-102. Here's Irving at the free throw line. Kareem lost control. And it'll go to the east. Now, 
That was an excellent pass by Kareem. Dantley moved without the ball. But right now, the East, they're not getting good shots. Went right back to Malone, but he traveled. They're not getting good shot. Good shot. The East is uh, making them shoot the shots outside. And the way this, they're getting the shots, it's bad rhythm. And so that's helping the, the uh, West play defense. Three with a chance for a three-pointer. The man who has made the difference is Abdul Jabbar. He's yes, handing he's the ball on. off, he's rebounding, he's doing it all right now. Here's another assist. And that's body control. Tiny Archibald returns for Billy Cunningham for Lloyd Free now with 14 points at the free throw line. And the West is very much back in the chase as he goes after the missed free throw. Roundfield. And out of bounds. Irving and Archibald were over there. To make a connection on the pass, and Tiny going to take a timeout and go over to Billy Cunningham's bench. We've got 7:22. 7:22 to go. Otis Birdsong of Kansas City sends it to Abdul Jabbar of the Lakers. What a pretty move on Malone that time! And did you see Lloyd Free? But it was sick. Lloyd Free was up above the rim by about a foot and a half that time. Sigma, six important points here in the fourth period. And the East can't get its rhythm back. Irving has it picked clean by A.D. Here comes Lloyd Free now, up on George Gervin. Went to that left-handed move. Moses was over there. And there's a holding loose ball foul is the call as Free came over on Moses Malone. And it'll be in the back court. And that's the first on Free. Yeah, he tried to dribble through some very heavy traffic and got the ball knocked loose. And which happens to most guys when they get embarrassed, they make a backcourt foul. Can you hear that chant? It's we want E. And if Billy Cunningham has noticed, he doesn't seem to be doing anything about it. Elvin's still sitting over there. Well, he's got a group out there that's, that's uh, trying to, to take control of the rhythm, and so he's trying to give them a chance to see what they can work out. Skyhook will get the roll that time. 113-108, and what looked like a blowout a short time ago has become a game again. And in my opinion, Abdul Jabbar is the reason why. Moses working on Kareem. He fouled him, and he'll come to the line, and Kareem couldn't believe it, but then he sort of shook his head and turned away. What a shot by Moses. That this is what you call a tough shot. And five fouls on Abdul Jabbar with Dennis Johnson replacing Otis Birdsong for the Western Conference All Stars. Malone with a total of 12 points. There's a different look at that. I think he fouled his foot. <laughs> Sigma. And here's DJ of Seattle. 115, 108 now and 618. Here's Kareem. He's gone to the sky hook that time to the pass, and as Dantley came through, Irving was pushing on him. You know, Kareem has a great reputation as a great shooter. But in this game, his passing his defense is what makes him making him so valuable. Here comes Elvin. Crowd getting its wish in Landover as Elvin Hayes returns for the Eastern Conference star. I can tell you the front line of the East squad, they can rebound. Yes, indeed. With I Malone, wouldn't expect round field and Hayes would take a Bill Russell. And go in there and out. <laughs> now you ready? I I'll stay here if you don't mind. Adrian Dantley with that now familiar right hand rub of the ball. And the ball pays attention. It's a five-point lead by the East in 6-10. Kareem has handed out nine assists in this game, 12 rebounds, and six block shots for the West. He's in there with Malone right now. 
Irvin sent it back off Roundfield. Westfall couldn't get it. It goes to Tiny. Roundfield stayed, and it went to Sigma. Was going to hit Kareem, who was open at the midcourt line, and then thought better of it. They sent it to the other side. That lay on a runner, rolling in the hook shot. Now it's a 115-112. can pull to within a point. And it has been this lineup, Dennis Johnson, and Tiny Archibald comes down. It's three on one. Gervin had it knocked away, and he was fouled by Westfall. I don't think one shot, Bill, down here can turn things around. Dennis with that miss. Well, you know, it seems that way, but, but what happens is you've got these things accumulating and accumulating, and they add up. The West is in pretty good shape right now. Because I think you, you take a great shoot like George Gervin missing the free throw like that. It's part of the reason for you missing a time like this is because they're out of rhythm. We saw Walter Davis check in and as Adrian Dantley returns to Lenny Wilkins bench. 31 for Gervin and now the penalty. Both teams over the limit. And as we go down the stretch, the game will become even more competitive, and the guys will, it'll be a rougher game. Five-point difference right now. So they have the quickness of Davis matched against Roundfield. Let's we'll see if that makes a difference. Kareem is looking for it. But when he couldn't get free, he simply took the sky hook. But Kareem was looking for Walter Davis, and Roundfield shut him down. You know, when you get a guy like Kareem passing the way he's passing, that makes him so tough because he's still one of the great shooters of all time with that sky hook. And so if you start looking for the pass and then he starts taking that sky hook, you, you know, you forget what a great score he is. Roundfield with an offensive rebound. No one had blocked him off at all. He was all alone. Well, that guy's trying to block him off, but he's a, a good rebounder, and he works before the shot's even taken. He's working on trying to get possession. There's that quickness of Davis, and we're going to see just how much difficulty that's going to cause Danny Roundfield now at that defensive end. You would think that Dennis Johnson would have to tighten up on George Gervin, that they're going to try to get Gervin free. This time they went inside, knocked away from Roundfield. Now here's DJ. Gervin is there defensively, and DJ went inside it. That's what I mean by the game getting more competitive. Moses went down, the foul is called, and that should be it. If that's against Abdul Jabbar, no, that is only his fifth. Check that. As Malone comes to the line. And a reminder that coming up next, we'll have the final round of the Bing Crosby National Pro Am. Jack Nicholas making a marvelous move in that tournament. Three birdies, Eagle the sixth. He was 10 under at our last check. Now, with three minutes and 57 seconds to go, it is the East 120 and the West 118, and a chance to tie. Magic Johnson has joined Paul Westfall. Hayes slapped it away, and Kareem went after it. Westfall got open without the ball, but was short. There's another outstanding pass by Kareem also. Davis attached to Roundfield. They go cross court. Magic with a heavy responsibility assigned to Gervin. Malone is off. Kareem to the middle. He's got a man. Westfall. Now Sigma comes back. Paul goes inside and tied up. Three minutes and 12 seconds to go. And they have overcome a 17 point lead. You know what's so good about this game is we've seen everything. We've seen great skill. We've seen great comebacks. And now, the best part of all, Magic tough got it from competition. Behind. Passes to Westfall, and Elvin Hayes blocked That's some great defense. Tiny sends it to E. After all, <laughs> <laughs> by Malone, but scored no 
122 all and 225 to go. What more could you ask for? Next week, more of the same. Philadelphia and Los Angeles on CBS. Tiny foul as he stepped inside. Westfall got him, and Paul now get up. We got a timeout, but we should have a dandy ending. This and the Dr. Julius Irving of Philly. For the West, Paul Westfall and Walter Davis of Phoenix, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Magic Johnson of the Los Angeles Lakers, and Jack Sigma of the Seattle Supersonics. Edges up by a point, and for Tiny, that is his first point. And it came at an opportune time for Billy C. Magic Johnson, 32, the rookie from Michigan State, comes down the left, and they now have attached Irving to Walter Davis because of his speed. Sigma is short. Magic sent it to Kareem. Off. Loose. And it's a tough call. Did Sigma touch it? Yes, he did. Sigma almost gave it away when he took a couple of steps before he decided to think. <laughs> Kept the referees, huh? Interesting coaching going on. Ron Fields' muscle is forced out by quickness. They work inside to the doctor. lead at 146. Now Kareem is being leaned on by Elvin and a great pass to Davis who lost control. Maybe it was out in front of him by a step or two. But Kareem has been handing out the assist in this game. Now the Iceman. Green with another rebound. He's playing with five fouls. He was rusty. He thought about the three-pointer and then went on in. Oh, See, I might as well take the easy one. Save the three-pointer, he says, for the last second. 17 for Westfall. West back to within two. We've got that time remaining. About a minute and six now. Stolen by Walter Davis. The Greyhound comes up on the doctor. Enjoyed it more than Walter did. And that was good defense by Julius Irving, too. Tied again and inside of a minute. Off of Hayes' hands, it'll go to the West. Now Magic. Lead pass. Here's Walter again. He saw Kareem. And Kareem couldn't get the hand. This, this, this is that last play here. Good defense. Great body control. Those two guys are something, aren't they? He'll inbounds it to the doctor. And the doctor is sent right over by the foul line to the right. Moses is out high. They're using the time. Inside to Moses. He set himself inside. The sky hook, but we'll see here, with 26 seconds to go, and the West trailing by a field goal. Davis will throw the inbounds pass and don't forget the three-point play. Magic. Irving on Magic. Sends it to Westfall. We're tied. 17 seconds and now the East will call timeout and they'll set their strategy. And as Bill explained, it was Julius who influenced the play last time, and they rolled Malone off to the hoop. They might try that again. On the other hand, you would think that this time the West would be looking for something like that. Now, they called timeout down at that end. They did not get the ball up, so they'll have to work it up completely against some West pressure. Cunningham watching the clock. He is now on his feet. He has yelled go, and into the play they go.
become the most valuable player. So it's been a long time. Kareem tapped at the Magic. The West will come down with Abdul Jabbar, Johnson, Sigma, Westfall, and Davis. Sigma turns around on Moses Malone, passes up the shot, improves his position. Misses in a shank down by Larry Bird. Off quickly now to Eddie Johnson. Johnson goes to the Big E, Elvin Hayes. Hayes tapped in by Johnson. He doesn't know how little he is. 20 for Eddie here this afternoon. Sigma again turns around. Pops in the tying points. Jack did not score at all until the fourth period, and now he has eight points. But the lineup of Sigma and Abdul Jabbar together made the difference. Moses Malone to the glass. Looks like the East may have some of that rhythm back. 17 points. Malone and Hayes working together with Bird. Walter's quickness, and they have turned it over. But Larry Bird was struggling after that first step. That's a mismatch in terms of speed. But if you know how to play defense, you can counter that. Just by position, take a half a step further away when the guy's that much quicker than you, rather than and make him shoot the outside shot. Back to Goodman, who did a reverse spinner. He was sealed up, and it's Moses, and he traveled. Oh. Turned it over to the West. Remember, Kareem is playing with five fouls against Malone. Now, here's another one of those moves without the ball for George Gervin. And you know what? He, he missed that shot, but he always comes close. Kareem handed it back. Davis on the save, and Eddie Johnson of the East is there. Johnson fouled by Westfall. Paul was cutting off the angle. Eddie Johnson kept on coming. That was a good foul. Five fouls on Westfall. The East leading at 132 to 130. Into Moses. Taken off by Sigma, and here's Magic. Gervin went to the ball. Magic now to the left side. Gervin tried to stay with him, and a little too tightly that time. Foul on George. Foul on George must have take the ball out of bounds. Now, these guys couldn't play any harder if this was the seventh game of the playoff right now because they, both of these teams want to win this game. Sigma. Kareem to the glass. And Elvin Hayes is protesting the call on the loose ball. It's against him. West trailing by two. Back to Sigma, who moves it to Davis. Davis comes up on the West Fall screen. Now with the score tied again, the East has been favoring Malone and Gervin offensively, so Kareem was just all over the front of Moses that time. He just tried to deny him the ball that began. Here comes Moses. Went to the glass on that turnaround. You got a guy with five fouls in it. You got to go inside, especially if you got a good, uh, a, a good player inside as Moses Malone. Play by Westfall on that left hand on that reverse layup, tied it again at 134. Hot Rod Huntley now has joined us over here at the announce table, and Larry Bird. that shot at a time like this. Stolen by Moses, and here's Johnson back to Malone to Eddie. 
lines up for the West. Here's Paul watching the line, staying outside it, but sealed as they go inside to Kareem. Kareem will roll the sky hook, and he was short with it. And Malone was hit by Sigma. He's made the move, Brent. I thought of both ends. Malone with that great pass offensively before the timeout, and here he made a, a good rebound play in traffic. Sigma gets the foul. And it's a backcourt foul, too, because he'd come down with it rather than a loose ball foul, so that should just about do it. But who knows? <laughs> yeah, these guys don't know that you're not supposed to play overtime. They, they'll even try for two overtime if you don't watch them. <laughs> that is 20 points and 12 rebounds for Malone. And the MVP voting figures to be very interesting in this game. Off to Magic. 142-136. Three-point try by Sigma is off. And Bird comes out of the move. Dishes to Malone. Malone comes up. Stayed with it. Sigma with a hand. Oh, 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 man. Tapped it back to Gervin. I don't believe he saw George Gervin. That was phenomenal. That pass he made on the flip. Davis shovels to Sigma. Sigma knocked free of him and out of bounds. Take a look at this. This, pass, this is unbelievable. He makes that pass off the rebound plane. His tips are right under to the man. Right there. Boom. Perfect. Gervin gets the basket. Looking away. Tipped the ball to the man. Another three-point effort. Off by Magic. And it is the East. And pass goes to Magic. But they have got to shoot three-pointers quickly. It'll be Westfall. Off. Out of bounds, and it'll go over. So the East is going to win this 30th annual NBA All-Star Game in overtime. And a remarkable display by a rookie, Larry Bird, here in the last couple of minutes. George Gervin is high with 34 points. Moses Malone was a tower of strength inside. Here comes Larry. Tosses one up. As the final seconds tick away. East wins it. 144. 136. It was some show, wasn't it, Bill? Couldn't ask for any better. This is the kind of stuff that I can get it. Most of the season this goes on. But you don't see it as well as you're seeing it here today. This is I've never seen that better all-star game. George Kervin being congratulated.